This is a short series of Pilates exercises that you can do at home. My name is Amy. I teach virtual mat Pilates at 11 a.m. on Friday mornings. We're going to run through a series of Pilates exercises focusing on the breath. This is not a full Pilates class, but it will give you an idea of what kind of things you would expect to do at a Pilates class and how you can keep fit in between your Pilates sessions. So we're going to start standing up. We're going to start with your feet together, your heels together, your toes going out a little bit. I want your legs to feel like one, like they've been zipped all the way up from the bottom to the top. Your pelvis is going to be in a neutral position. Not tipped or tucked, but in a neutral position. Your chest wide, your arms can be down at your side. Or if you'd like a little bit of feedback, you can have them on your abdominals or one in the front and one in the back. We're going to start with the breathing. Breathing is one of the most important parts of Pilates. We want to engage the Pilates powerhouse. That is those muscles from the top of your hip to the bottom of your ribs that goes all the way around, front, front side and back. So with your hands, if you'd like them, we're going to inhale through the nose, expanding those Pilates powerhouse muscles three-dimensionally. And we're going to exhale through pursed lips, pulling the abdominals in, bringing the belly button towards the spine. Inhale, three-dimensional expansion. Exhale, pulling in, up and in, like you're scooping your abs, up and in, like an uh, ice cream scoop. It's pulling those abdominals in. Inhale, exhale. Add a little vigor to that exhale. Inhale, exhale. Use it to engage those powerhouse muscles. If those hands on your stomach are not working for you, feel free to have them down at your sides, even a front and back. If you really want to feel that three-dimensional inward and pulling the abdominals in. Just take a couple more breaths. Keep these on your own timing. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale and exhale. Now keeping these powerhouse muscles well engaged, we're going to raise our heels Keeping the heels together, coming up on the toes, inhaling to come up, exhale coming down. Keeping our balance with the powerhouse muscles. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. You don't have to come up too far. You want to keep those heels together. Inhale, exhale. Just one more. Inhale, and exhale. Bringing the feet to parallel. We're going to inhale as you bend the knees, keeping the back straight. Exhale as you come up to your toes. Inhale to straighten. Exhale coming down. Let's try this again. Bending the knees, keep that back nice and straight. Coming up on your toes. Straightening and going down. Inhale. Exhale, rising on the toes. Standing up straight and bringing the heels down. Now we're going to reverse that action. Inhale to rise up in your toes. Here's the hard part. Exhale, bending the knees, keeping that back nice and straight. Bring your heels down and standing up. Inhale, exhale to bend the knees. Inhale, bringing the heels down. Exhale, just one more. Inhale to go up. Exhale, bending the knees while you're on your toes. Bringing the heels down and standing up straight. We're going to work our way to the floor. If you'd like to just make your way to the floor, that's fine. If you'd like to try this exercise, crossing your legs at the ankles, keeping your arms out, bending your knees, and making your way down to the mat without using your hands. Whew. All right. We're going to lie on our back with your knees bent, your feet flat on the ground. I'd like to have a neutral pelvis here, so there's a little space. I can put my hands underneath the small of my back. My hips and ribs, I'm going to keep where they are. I'm going to use a little triangle with my hands, putting my thumb and forefinger together. The thumb goes on my belly button, forefinger pointing down. If I look, I should see a plane right there, straight, parallel to the ground, so that my hips and ribs are in the same plane. We're going to inhale and exhale in this position, keeping this neutral spine and just engaging the abdominals. Inhale three-dimensionally, 
exhale, pulling navel towards the spine. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now we're going to move the bones, moving the hip bones towards the ribs, pressing the small of the back into the spine. This is called imprint. In this case, my triangle, instead of staying parallel, thumbs are going to dip down. Inhale, expanding. Exhale, pressing the navel towards the spine. Inhale, exhale. That's imprint position. Inhale to neutral. Exhale to imprint. Inhale to neutral. Exhale to imprint. Some of you might know this as pelvic tilt. In Pilates, we call it imprint. Keeping in that imprint position, we're going to just work a little bit of the upper body before we move on to our warm-up exercise, the 100. Looking straight up at the ceiling, your neck is a little bit bent right now. So we're going to straighten the neck by tucking the chin toward the chest. Inhaling, exhale, nod the chin towards the chest. Leave a little bit of space there. Inhale, going straight up, exhale, towards the chest. Inhale, exhale, adding the rest of your upper body, getting your arms nice and long. Inhale, look straight up. Exhale, nod the chin to the chest. Feel the head, the neck, and the shoulders up off the mat. Keep your gaze on your knees, your arms long, and come on down. Inhale, exhale, nod the chin to the chest. Peel, come on up, and come back down. We're going to put everything together your legs, your upper body, into the 100. You're going to start out by making sure you are in a good imprint position, bringing your legs up to tabletop, right over your hip flexors. If you're new to Pilates, keep them in this bent leg position. If you've done a lot more Pilates and you want to stretch teaser, feel free to go ahead to that. Um, your head, neck, and shoulders are going to peel up off the mat, your arms long, your gaze going to stay at your knees no matter what you do. Your arms are nice and long. We're going to vigorously pump the arms for five beats, inhaling, five beats, exhaling. Do this for a count of 100. You ready? Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five. Ex, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. You should be imprint the whole time. Feel that navel reaching towards your stomach. Inhale, halfway through. Exhale, two, three, four, five. I'm going to stretch the legs out long for full five counts. Bring them in for full five counts. Stretch them out for full five counts. For full five counts. They're going to stay out. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And hold. Bring the knees into the chest. Bring your head down. Rotate from side to side. That's the 100. That's our warm-up exercise. Our next exercise is roll-up. I'm going to demonstrate a half roll back and then show you full roll-up. You can do the half roll back if you prefer not to do the roll up. Sitting up, your feet flat on the ground, your arms up. We're going to C curve the spine. Navel reaches towards the spine. C curve going halfway back and coming up to a good upright seated position. Inhale going back and exhale coming up. If you like, stay with that half roll back. Otherwise, we'll do the full roll up. Your legs are going to be straight. As you go forward, your legs are always straight. Bending over your legs, giving your hamstrings a good stretch. Coming up to seated, slot those shoulders down. If you need to, you can bend your knees a little bit because we're going to go all the way down, and I'd like that back to stay on the floor. So if you need to bend your knees a little bit to keep your spine in, on the mat, then do that. Inhaling, here's the difficult part. Exhale, nod the chin to the chest, and slowly, carefully, peel your vertebrae up off the mat, coming up to seated, stretching your legs, and bending over the legs. This is called the roll-up. Coming up to seated, C-curve, with control, absolute complete control, not with momentum, knee bent if it needs to. Articulate your spine all the way down onto the mat. At the bottom, inhaling. Use that exhale to come all the way up, momentum free. If you need to use your hands a little bit to help you come up, that's okay. If you'd like to stick with a half roll back while you're working on your abdominal control, that's fine too. 
Both of those exercises are going to work the Pilates powerhouse. Inhale. Use the exhale to engage the core. And let you come up and stretch over the legs. And this last one, we're going to stay down. We're going to go halfway down. Halfway. And then hold. Five, four, three, two, one. And come all the way down to the mat. We're going to lie completely flat. Your pelvis is going to be in neutral. You're still going to have that space underneath your small of your back for the one leg circle. Starting with your right knee, bending it, bringing it all the way up. Your knee does not need to be completely straight. It needs to be a little bit bent to keep that good leg extension. That's fine. We're going to make a small circle with the foot, starting by going across the midline, away from the body, stop at the top. I want you to focus on your hip stability. Are your hips staying in one place? If they're wobbling, smaller circle. Inhale the first half of the circle. Exhale for the second half. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Always stopping at the top. Not using momentum. Away from the body. And across the midline. Stop at the top. Inhale. Exhale, stop at the top. Using the Pilates powerhouse to keep the hips nice and steady. Steady. No movement in those hips. One more on this side. And up. Bending that knee and bringing the other foot up. Once again, if you need to have a little bit of knee bend, that's fine. We're going to start going across the body. Think about having a glass of water on each hip and you're not going to spill it. So this circle is small and stopping at the top. Inhale, exhale, stop. Inhale, exhale, stop. All the Pilates exercises are going to have an inhale and exhale pattern to them. And stop. And all of the Pilates exercises are about doing what works best for you today. And we're going to go away from the body, cross the midline and up. Five circles in this direction. Away, across the midline, stop at the top. We're not going to do hundreds of repetitions of our Pilates exercises. Just a few, with really good technique, doing what our body does best today. And bringing that leg down, coming down. For our next exercise, we're going to come up to seated and do rolling like a ball. Rolling like a ball does require you to have a little bit of cushioning here for your spine. If you find that your mat is just too thin for that, feel free to do the prep that I'm going to show you. You're going to bring your knees into your chest. You're going to curl up like a little ball. Your gaze is going to be between your knees, like that. Your hands on your shins. If you are a little more familiar with Pilates and you would like to have your arms out, you can do that. Make sure you have enough room to roll back just as far as your shoulders. We're going to start out just with a little prep. We're just going to tilt a little bit. Your abs catch you and come back up. Tilt, come back up. If you'd like to roll all the way back, this is not a momentum exercise. We're not going to kick the legs. We're going to stay in this ball shape. Inhale, going back. Exhale, coming up, balancing to the top. Just to the shoulders. Please don't roll on your neck. We want to keep you nice and safe. Inhale. Trying not to use momentum, not using your legs. No pull like that with your legs. Back, up, balancing to the top. Just one more, down, and up. Now we're gonna go down and stay, bringing your knees in. For this next series of five exercises, this is known as the ab series, you can keep your head, neck, and shoulders up off the mat the whole time. If you'd like to put them down, in between each exercise, you can do that. If you would like to leave them down for every exercise, if you have neck strain, you can also do that. Just make sure you really focus on your abdominals. So I'm gonna keep my head up for these exercises to show you what they look like. The first one is called the single leg, single leg pull. Your left leg is gonna extend long, your right leg comes in. Your gaze always between your knees. You're gonna inhale, inhale as you tug, switch the legs. Inhale, inhale, exhale, switch. 
Inhale, inhale. Exhale, switch. Gaze between the knees and switch. Tug, tug. Exhale, switch. Inhale, inhale. Exhale, switch. Just one more. Inhale, inhale. Exhale, switch. Inhale, inhale. Exhale, switch. Bring both the legs in. You can rest your head down as we set up for the next one. Your hands are going to go to your abdominals if your head is down. Bring it back up. Head, neck, and shoulders up off the mat. It's the double leg stretch. Your arms going straight out. Legs in opposition. Your arms swing around. Like you're taking a hat off with your hand. Swing. Legs going to 45 degrees and together. This whole time, are you an imprint? Are you thinking about bringing your navel towards your spine? Just two more. Out and circle around. Out and circle. The next one is scissors. Both legs are going to go straight up. You're going to split the legs, bringing your right knee towards you. The left one apart. This does not need to be a wide split. Your focus is still on your imprint position. Tug, tug, and switch. Inhale, inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, inhale, exhale, switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. Bringing the legs together. If you want to put your head down for a little rest, turn your, knee leg, your head from side to side. This is called lower and lift. Your arms are going to stretch out at your side. Gaze still on your knees. With an inhale and a lower legs. Inhale, 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 exhale. Keeping the legs together and up, really focusing on your abdominals. Inhale, 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 exhale. You don't need a large range of motion for this. Most of the work is coming here. You're only rowing your legs a couple of inches, maybe a foot at the most. Inhale, inhale, inhale. One more, inhaling through the nose and exhaling. And the last one, you can bring your knees into your chest if you want to rest your head down. This is crisscross. Your arms are going to go behind your head. Your elbows are going to be wide. This will look like a bicycle crunch to a lot of you. It is a bicycle crunch, but we're going to do it quite slowly and with a lot of control. So splitting the legs, the left leg goes out, the right knee stays in. Your left shoulder is going to go towards your right knee. Your head's going to stay up, up and switch. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Really going to focus on keeping that imprinted position and keeping the torso very stable, very quiet. Twisting comes with the shoulder reaching towards the knee. Really working those oblique muscles. One more each side. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the legs in, bring the head down. If you had the head down the whole time, wow, really hard work. Turn that head from side to side a bit. Get release the strain on the neck. We're going to come up to seated for a seated exercise, the saw. You're going to have your legs be a little wider than hip lift. I want to flex those feet so that the legs are really activated. Your arms going from side to side. You're going to inhale to grow tall, getting nice and tall like your back's up against a wall, twisting towards the right, reaching forward, turn the back arm under, reach to the pinky side of your foot, inhale coming up, exhale twist, inhale, exhale twist, and going forward, turn that back arm under, keep both hips on the ground, coming up and twisting back to the center, inhale, grow nice and tall. Twist, reach forward, coming up, and twist. Inhale, twist, go forward, and back. Just one more each side. Twisting, reaching forward, keeping both those hips well grounded onto the mat. And twist, reaching towards that pinky side of your foot, and your arms come down to the side. Just want to check my lesson plan, make sure I haven't forgotten anything. I'm going to do the spine stretch forward. Your arms going straight forward. The, your arms are going to stay at shoulder height the whole time. You're reaching for your feet, but your arms are going straight out. The focus is on your back. I'll show this to you on the side so you can see the back. Nice and straight. 
Inhaling, growing even taller. Exhale, peel your back away from an imaginary wall, reaching towards the feet. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, coming up. Make sure those shoulders stay low. Shoulders tend to climb up. Inhale, growing tall. Exhale, make a candy cane with your spine, reaching forward. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale to articulate the spine. Come all the way up. All right. I'm going to move to one more exercise lying on your back. This is called corkscrew. I'll show it to you this way. So lying down on your back. Your legs are going to be straight up. Your legs are going to move as one unit in a circle. If you have the hip flexibility, if this is available to you to slightly lift the hips up in the air, you can do that between each circle. If that's not working for you today, leave it out. Let me show you one round with the hip lift and one without. Lifting the hips, if available, controlling the descent. With both legs together, make a circle to the right, around and up. Inhale and Exhale to control the descent. Circle to the left. Around and up. If that hip flexibility is there for you, feel free to try it again. Otherwise, we're going to make a circle to the right, both legs. Stop me at the top. Inhale. Exhale. And one more set of circles. Add that hip flexibility if you have it. Inhale. Exhale, and inhale, exhale. Bringing those legs down. Just want to make sure we're going to move on to teasers. In a full lip fledge Pilates class, we would be doing some forward exercises and some side exercise. But to keep this to a manageable amount for you to do at home, we're going to move on to teasers. I'm going to start out the teaser with your feet on the ground, your knees bent. The further away your feet are from where you are sitting, the easier this exercise is going to be. So you can control the difficulty. We're going to do one teaser with both feet on the ground, then I'm going to give you some variations. Your arms are going to be up by your ears. Sitting up nice and tall, lifting the chest like there's a string pulling your chest up to the ceiling. And C curve, the spine coming all the way down. Controlled motion coming all the way down to the mat. Inhale, exhale, nod the chin to the chest, and coming up to a seated position, the long spine. If you would like to add on, you can do one foot on the mat, one leg lifted, keeping your knees at the same height to do that full exercise, or you can do it with both legs up in the air. We're going to do two more. I'll show you the one leg options. One leg up in the air, first sit up tall. Inhale as you go all the way back down, all the way to the mat, head all the way down. Inhale, exhale as you come up. If you need a little help with the hand on the hamstrings, that's all right. Switching feet. Inhale, going all the way down. And exhale as you come up, as momentum free as you can. I'll show you one exercise with your legs all the way up. Your legs are going to stay up the whole time. Going all the way down. Exhale if you need to do a little hamstring help. Get you the rest of the way up. We're going to do one more. If your feet are down or if your feet are up, you're going to lift your feet up. And just lift the legs up and down. If you had your legs up the whole time and you'd like to do this exercise, with the legs straight, that's fine too. And bring it down, bring it all down. Whew. And forward, stretch out your back. We're going to end with a little bit of front support and push-ups. So make your way to a standing position facing the long edge of your mat. Your arms are up by your head. You're going to inhale and exhale as you peel yourself down, coming all the way down. When your hands reach the mat, whatever you need to do to get those hands flat on the mat, if that's a knee bend, you're going to walk yourself up to a front plank. I'm going to hold that plank. We're going to do five push-ups. You can do them on your knees if you like. You can do serratus style where your elbows come very close to your body or more military style where they're out. Whichever you like, five of your best push-ups. <sighs> Inhale going down. <sighs> Exhale coming up. 
Inhale down. Exhale up. They can be done on your knees, remember? Inhale, exhale. I think this is five. Exhale, wherever you are, come back to a plank. Pike those hips. Walk your hands back in. Hang over your legs. Give yourself a little shake. Shake the head. Shake the arms. I'm going to come and face you guys as we come to an end of this little mini Pilates. We're going to work our way up to standing using those core muscles, that Pilates powerhouse. Come to stand. Your head comes up, followed by your arms. Bringing your arms down. You've got a lovely open chest, really strong abdominals. You've worked really hard. Thank you for joining me.